Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 16 actual iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are tricks that I have discovered recently. Some of them are a bit older, some of them are quite new and I have discovered them recently on the iPhone. So these are tricks that of course will help you perform a lot of things like maybe faster or easier or even perform things that you didn't know that you can do on your iPhone. So here are 16 iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. The first thing we're talking about is how to record a video on your iPhone using your Memoji. So everything will be just like a normal video, but instead of your face, you will have your Memoji and that of course on a video. So all you gotta do is just go ahead, go to the iMessage app, and then from here, just go on one of your messages. Now, if you just wanna make this video to save it, on your camera roll you can just go ahead and send a message an iMessage to yourself and do this so just tap right there it will show you the camera go to video and then just tap this little icon right there now what you can do from here is just tap the little emoji icon and then from here just go ahead choose your emoji and then from here of course it will detect your face now you can go ahead and just tap this, this little x button right there and start recording and that will record your face with your memoji and that's of course really really cool now once you're done just tap the stop button once you click the stop button just click here on the done button and then it will basically create a movie using your memoji so you can see right here it will also give you the option to send it and of course also save it on the camera roll of your device. So if I just go to the camera roll, you will see now right here that this video has been saved. So a video with everything like normal, but instead of my face, you will see my Memoji. You can also add Memoji stickers to the pictures that you sent to someone. So if you go to your iMessage app and you tap on the little camera button and you want to take a picture and send it to someone, you can just tap this little icon right there and then tap on the stickers. So once you tap on the stickers, it will show you all the Memoji stickers. So you choose one you want and it will place it on the picture. But you can actually go ahead and drag this and move it anywhere you want on the screen resize it, rotate it, place it anywhere you want. Once you're done, just tap the little X button, go ahead, take the picture, and you're good to go. Click done, and now you will be able to send that picture with your Memoji sticker on it. On the camera of your iPhone, you will of course have all like the different effects that you can set once you want to take a picture. You can take a picture with that effect, that looks pretty cool, but what if you want to change that effect, like the amount of the effect? Take the picture, then go to the photo gallery and tap the edit button, and if you go to the effect right here, it will show you this like slider right here that allows you to basically minimize and maximize the effect of that filter that you have added from the camera app of your iPhone. When you're on Safari on your iOS 13 device and you wanna rearrange your tabs, you can go to the landscape mode and it will show you like a grid view of your tabs. Did you know that you can rearrange these tabs? Of course, you might know this because this is quite like a popular feature, but if you tap on one of them, you can actually drag it and tap on other ones and create like a group of tabs just like you do with the icons on the home screen and then you can go ahead and move all of them together. So here I have like three tabs that I have selected and I can go ahead and move all these tabs together wherever I want. Now on the Safari app, if you have like a folder with different bookmarks and you want to copy those links, all you got to do is just go ahead and force touch on that folder and you will have like a button here that says copy contents. Tap right there and what that will actually do is just copy all the links that you have there. So if I paste here, you can see it will show me all the three links that are within that folder. Now with the notes app, you know that you have the checklists, which are very, very useful for a lot of things. But did you know that there is like an actual hidden menu that you can uncover simply by tapping anywhere on the screen? Just go to one of the lists here, one of the rows on the checklist and just tap that little arrow and it will show you a button that says checklist. Now if you tap right there, you will have quite a few options here. So you can delete all the checked ones, you can move the checked ones to the bottom, just tap right there, you can see it will move all the items on the list that are checked 
to the bottom of the list. So let's go back again there, tap checklist right here. And then you will also have here the option to check all, uncheck all, or just go ahead and delete the ones that are already checked. On the notes app, you have like, of course, stuff written here and you wanna insert something here, like let's say a draw or you just wanna like quickly draw something just here on the rows, you can go ahead and insert like a drawing. So just tap right there, just tap on the screen anywhere to show the menu here and tap insert draw. So you will see these two lines, you can make them smaller or bigger, of course. And you will also have the toolbar right here at the bottom, which of course lets you go ahead and choose any tool you want. And you will have the colors here as well. And then you can just like, you wanna point out something or you just wanna quickly write something here. You can do that quickly using the toolbar here and of course add any drawing like you want on a note here so anywhere you want on a note to add like a quick drawing like a quick note something you want to do just tap once on the screen to show the menu and then you will be able to insert a drawing right here on a note now here are some like settings that are hidden and you probably might not even know what they do on your settings app if you go to settings and find the music settings right here you will find a very very useful feature called sound check this one right here go ahead and enable that now what this feature will do for you is that all the downloaded music that you have on your iphone will be equalized so if you have like a song that starts at a really really high volume it will basically equalize that so it won't like surprise you so you're, you're listening to music, your headphones on, you have a song that's like lower on volume and then one comes up that the volume is too high, it will of course maybe even damage your ears. But what sound check will do is that of course, as the setting says, it will check the sound and will equalize all the music that you have downloaded on your music app. Not the one that you're just streaming, the one that you have downloaded. Another thing right here within the settings of the music app is the automatic download. Now, you might not know, but when you're on your music, Apple Music app, and you go ahead and add a music to your library, that, that song won't actually download on your iPhone. So if you wanna to listen to that offline, you won't be able to do that. You will have to go to your library and manually download that song so you will be able to listen to it even if your device is not connected to the internet. But if you go to settings, go to music, and you enable automatic downloads, then all the songs that you add to your library will be also downloaded for offline listening. On the notes app, if you have like a note, there's like big, you have a lot of text on it and you wanna find like a particular word, what you can do is just tap this little share button right there at the top. Then just scroll down here and you will find a button that says find a note. So tap right there and it will show you this like search bar right there and it will let you go ahead and just search for any word that you want on that note. So let's just search for that test with two S's right there. And as you can see right there, it will actually highlight that word that you have like search. So you will see right here, test one match and you will see the word right there. Now, if you have like more words like that, you can use the arrows to move between those words. So let's just go ahead and try with test and go ahead and search. You can see it will find four there and you can go ahead and move between them using these little arrows right here on the left side. On the camera app of your iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro, basically the newer models, you will have these hidden tools that you can show with that arrow. So you tap on the arrow right there at the top to show the tools or to hide them. But you can just simply swipe up on the screen anywhere. It will show you all the tools here. Swipe down to hide them. You don't need to reach for the top there to show them. Swipe up and swipe down from here and you will get like the live photos. You will get the timer, the effects and all that stuff. On the App Store, when you go to your account, you will have a list of all the purchased apps right here. So apps that you have purchased from the App Store, whether you have them on your iPhone or not, they will be shown right here. So you have all the apps and then you have just the ones that are not on your iPhone. You can actually hide these apps from your purchased list. So all you gotta do is just swipe on any one of them and just tap hide and those apps will be hidden from the list of your purchased apps. So just like this, swipe, click hide, and you're good to go. On the files app, you can move folders within folders. 
but there is of course always an easy way to do that. Just tap with two fingers on one of the folders, it will select that. You can select the other ones as well and then you can just drag like this and as you can see you will create like a group of folders that you can go ahead and move anywhere you want on the other folders. Just like you do with the icons on the home screen of your iPhone. Just select one of them and then you can go ahead and select the other ones just like this and of course move them like to any other folder you want. So you can see on B cut right here I just moved those two and you can see them right here. The two folders that I just moved from the folder right here within another folder. There is also like a hidden menu on the files app so anywhere you're on the files app on any folder you just find a blank space like this and tap and hold and it will show you this menu like from here you can quickly create a new folder. Just tap right there, enter the name of the folder, click done and you're good to go. Or you can go ahead and quickly scan a document from here. So you will have of course the flash right there, you will have also the different filters that you can apply, you have the grayscale right there, black and white and all of that and of course you will also have auto right there for the flashlight and of course you will have another option here if you tap and hold again show that menu and you will find a button that says info now what this does is that it will give you like detailed information regarding the folder that you're currently in it will show you of course the kind here it will show you the date created date modified last open and also where this folder is saved so whether it's saved on the cloud or locally on your iPhone. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are some really cool iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned some new tricks that you can use on your iPhone on daily basis. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe for more videos. So that's it for this one. I will see you on the next one.